Welcome back to Make, Build, Modify. Today I'm gonna to take an old drill, an old battery, make an adapter plate, so I can use new batteries. Our goal today is to use the receptacle off of this battery where the older drills slide into the battery. So basically the top part of this battery as the upper portion of the adapter. We're going to use a USB adapter plate that you can get online and I'll leave a link to that in the description and we're going to marry those to make an adapter plate that looks something like that. You can see it's got the USB there still and you can use that with this. And that allows us to put the new batteries with the old drill. The first order of business is to mark the polarity on these batteries so you know where positive and negative are. And on the newer batteries, they're marked. They've got positive and negative. I'm not sure if that's the case for all of the new batteries. I'm going to act as though it wasn't marked, and I'll show you how I do it. So I just take my multimeter, make sure that your red and black leads are plugged into the appropriate locations, and you just run them up to the two outside portions of the battery. And right now, I'm getting a negative voltage, 19.82. So that tells me I've got my leads reversed. If I swap them, now I've got a positive voltage. In this case, red is positive, black is negative. I'm just going to mark those. And then the same goes for this battery. So this is correct. Now when this connects to this, when this adapter plate connects to the new battery, these are corresponding. In this case, this side's negative, this side's positive. And we'll use that for reference later. Now we'll take this battery apart and we'll get the guts that we need to make the adapter with. You want to keep these screws because we're going to use those to put the plates together with. So the next step is to break these terminals off. Don't short anything when you're doing it. And we only need the two side terminals. We don't need the middle one. So this can go. For my reference, I like to mark these terminals also. I'm just corresponding the marks with that. Here's the terminal that came out of the old battery. And we're going to cut these flanges basically where this little 90 degree turn happens. The same on this side. Okay, now we need to sand the inside of these a little bit, rough it up so that we can add solder and it'll stick well. The next step is to add the wire that's going to go from these leads and through the top of this and into this. And this is, I'm using 12 gauge wire. You want to use a heavier gauge. I think they might be using 14 in the drills, but I had 12 gauge. The reason you want a heavier gauge is you don't know which tool you're going to be using. A flashlight could use lighter gauge, but if you're going to do you know, the low setting on a drill, there's a lot of torque, there's a lot of draw, and so you want a heavier gauge wire going between your adapter plates. Okay, the next step is to match up the colors to the terminal you marked and just fold this flange over the top of that wire. Now we need to solder those joints. So we have this component. While that's cooling off, we're going to dig into this guy 
And there's a couple things we have to do. We have to locate where we're going to drill the holes. We're going to use the existing screws from the top plate of the battery, these four, and we're going to put them into the top of this. But there's a circuit board in there and we have to make sure that we don't go through and hit the circuit board. And there's a couple locations that will work for that. So let's open this up. So here's the circuit board. And when you open it up, you can see that there's space. There's little spacers. Right there, right there, and right there. Those are standoffs. They keep the board away from the top of that housing. So we have a little bit of space, basically the height of this little standoff for those screws to go in without hitting that circuit board. So that's where those screws are going to go. We'll, we'll locate those, but that gives us that much grace. Also, there's two big terminals that come up through that coincide with these terminals. And if we flip it over, we've got our marks, so we know that this is the positive, this is the negative. We want to solder the black and red leads to these two terminals and we're going to drill right through this housing straight up through and then we're going to marry those wires to the other portion of the battery. And that's going to be those holes go right about here give or take. You want these leads to be about two and a half inches long. Now you can see we've got positive and negative are, are reversed for how these are going to go because we've got this little piece here fits in like this. This piece is going to line up like this. But our colors are swapped and that's why I've been marking them because we need to sw roll this red wire over the top and bring this black wire down like this. And then you need to go through like that. We have to solder these leads in there. Now to make this easier, you can run these in first. And do the twist after. And again, I've marked these so I can just line up my colors. There's the solder joints. I've got these soldered up. Just push it back in where it goes. And if you have those holes lined up well enough, they should come straight out like that. And all of these receptacles and switches should line up. And that's it for the inside of this. You can put it back together. Okay, so now we want to put that twist back in we were talking about. And these line up together. Now there's a little tab let me pull this back off. There's some little tabs here, here and here. Those don't have to be cut, but I like to bend this little tab forward a little bit with some pliers. And 
and that way it lines right up with this rolled section here. Okay, now we've got one, two, three, four locations where the screw is going to go. We've got to mark those. And I just use a 332nd drill bit to do that. So you want this to be lined up to where that tab that I bent forward lines pretty much up in the center of this, pretty much in the center of this section here. And that tab just goes over that edge. Push down firm. And we're just going to mark the plastic here. So you've got little marks. Now we're going to drill through. Now, with, with these two, with all the four of these, really, you should just go through the plastic. So be very careful when you drill. Just, just beyond the plastic. Not a lot of pressure. So these are just going to be pre-drills pre for the screws that are going to hold it together. The two that are up here are very important because the circuit board's behind them. These on the sides are actually on the outside of the circuit board, and there's some other plastic. So we'll try running these screws in, but you might have to drill a little bit beyond that. But these are the ones to really worry about. Now these are the original screws that I took out of the ba old battery. And two of them have to be cut down to about half length. And those two short ones are going to go in the upper two sections. And I recommend putting these screws in by hand so you can kind of feel what you're doing. I wouldn't drive them with a drill driver. I just get all four started before I, I tighten them all up. Okay, so the two outside ones are longer screws. Okay, so now the goal is to just kind of negotiate this and try to center everything up as you tighten. And you'll feel it moving around and you can get it to be pretty good. You don't want to go over tighten either because you can strip these screws. Okay, that should be it. That should be a good working adapter. Let's take these stickers off. We'll try... It fits just fine. That's good. And make sure that that inner shell that you put in is not getting pushed out by the other screws. It looks like it's fine on this one. So we're good there. And let's try it on a drill. Alrighty, let's give this a try. Sawzall. Drill. Skill saw. Pretty cool. A little bit of a warning, this battery adapter allows some unsuspecting individual to plug the new battery into the old charger. I've never tested that, that's not a good idea, and you want to stay away from that. So if you do these adapters, get rid of your old uh, chargers, that way it never happens. Um, the other thing, this voids all your warranties. You're going to, I mean your new and old tools, combining these, forget it on the warranties. So those are considerations for you. Also, I haven't done a lot of testing with this battery on the new on the old tools. They've been working fine so far, but I don't know what kind of stress it puts on these batteries. So far, they haven't overheated and I've been doing pretty good, but you need to be paying attention to that when you run these on your tools. I hope it works out good for you.